Now, you're not naive enough to think we're living in a democracy, are you, buddy? It's the free market. And you're part of it. Yeah. You got that killer instinct. Charlie Sheen is a young financial hustler, and Michael Douglas is the crooked wheeler dealer who takes him under his wing in Wall Street. Wall Street is the eagerly awaited new film by Oliver Stone, the creator of last year's Oscar-winning film, Platoon. Wall Street, however, is not in the same league with that great film, partially because we all know, thanks to the recent stock market collapse, a little bit about Wall Street, more than we knew about the reality of Vietnam. Also, the story of Wall Street is rather predictable. Charlie Sheen stars as a young stockbroker from a working-class family who is trying to strike it rich by landing as one of his clients a slimy, coarse, multi-millionaire wheeler dealer named Gordon Gecko, a lizard man. The guys that are poor, smart, and hungry, and no feelings. You win a few, you lose a few, but you keep on fighting. And if you need a friend, get a dog. He's one tough trader, and Gecko trades illegally on inside information. And soon, Charlie Sheen is making a bundle with him. I hear you guys are handling the Fairchild Foods merger, and it may not be going through. Any surprises I haven't read about in the Wall Street Journal? Come on, buddy, that's illegal. You wouldn't want to get me disbarred, now, would you? Oh, who's listening? Just one college buddy talking to another. That's James Spader, so good as the lawyer. Michael Douglas overplays his role, I think, most of the time, except here, where he delivers a fascinating speech to shareholders of a company he's trying to take over. That greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Greed clarifies, cuts through, and captures the essence of the evolutionary spirit. Greed, in all of its forms, Greed for life, for money, for love, knowledge, has marked the upward surge of mankind, and greed, you mark my words, will not only save Teldar paper, but that other malfunctioning corporation called the USA. Thank you very much. He could run for office talking like that. The major personal conflict in the film is a hokey family affair. Rich has been doing it to the poor since the beginning of time. The only difference between the pyramids and the Empire State Building is the Egyptians didn't allow unions. You know what this guy's all about? Greed. Now, wait just a minute, Dad. Sure. Now, what's worth doing is worth doing for money. It's a bad bargain and nobody gains. Sure, he saw the idea everybody's going to gain, but that's not his plan. And so we're left with the notion, whose side is Charlie Sheen going to take? His father or his financial mentors? Well, Platoon had a good sergeant and a bad sergeant but they were fresh faces in a hidden jungle. The good and evil fathers, if you will, in Wall Street are much too familiar to us, much too broadly drawn. The film, however, does work as a pulp drama, and some of the Wall Street sequences, some of the corporate language and the trading and all that is very well filmed and exciting. But as a major film, I think you can find more financial drama every day reading the Wall Street Journal. So in other words, you don't recommend seeing it? No, film. actually, as a matter of fact, I do recommend do? seeing it. I don't think it would, it's that good, though. And it, coming from a guy who directed Platoon, I was particularly disappointed. But there are some entertaining things about oh, the film. Oh, see, I think your entire comparison with Platoon is just based on the fact that the same man directed both films. So legitimate I think you would be more uh, likely compare this movie to movies like Sweet Smell of Success or The Graduate, movies that are in the same genre. And then you'll find how good this movie is as the story of an ambitious young guy who takes the wrong mentor and is led right down the garden path. Oh, also, I totally disagree with your criticism of Michael Douglas's performance. If there's a weak performance in the movie, it's Charlie Sheen. He's too open-faced, he's too baby-faced for us to believe that he could really sell anyone on these manipulations. But Douglas is right on. It's a terrific performance. It's avaricious, Wrong. it's consuming, it's obsessive, and it's good. Let me explain. Most of the guys that are these this big of a heavy hitter, mm -hmm. 50, 100 million dollar man that this mm -hmm. guy is, those guys are the quiet, cold killers. Well, that's the your guys, notion. That's no, your notion. No, I think we have way. to review. No, we no. have to review the character on the screen, Gene. That's right. No, I'm your, your you. theories no. about what these guys no, are no, really no. like. No, no, because there's a lot of tape that exists of these people, and uh -huh. I'm telling you. He plays it right in that one scene when he gives a but cool see, speech. That's when he's out in public. Of course he could run for office. He's real slick and smooth. The thing is, you see him backstage. Mm -hmm. You see him behind the scenes. Overacting. Yeah, not overacting. No, not at that's all. My call. No, well, I think you're you're way off base.